Hi guys, Phil here. And if you saw my other video, like I said, I was at the Red Power Roundup in Lima, Ohio. Uh, I've been saving my money for a while because I knew I was going to go out there. Uh, but I saved up a lot of money. Well, a decent amount of money, not a lot. but And I bought a bunch of collectibles, memorabilia, brochures, stuff like that. There will be another video of that. But uh, I also bought a lot of toys. So I knew you guys were looking forward to more videos. Uh, I've been I've been saving and waiting. That's why there hasn't been videos out. But uh, let's get started here. This first one here is the Farmall 560 Diesel Ertl Precision Series. This is the uh, older Precision Series, 2004, which you can see on the bottom there. So this is not new, but it's from 2004. And this one I did get used. I did not get this one new. Well, it's in the box, but you can tell it's dirty. Okay, so normal precision box. Looking good. Get this stuff out of the way. First off here, I'm going to start with the booklet. You can see the track here, it's nice. The booklet here. Maybe not. Oh yeah, here we go. You can see, Precision Series 560 diesel tractor. This is basically like a little uh, sales brochure. Has details there. That's cool engine view there. So that's that. Get on to the medallion here. Ertl Precision Series on the back there with the uh, caliper. And then the 460 there in the middle there. So that's cool. Let's get to the main part, the tractor. Now here you go. Look at this detail here. Let me find a pencil or something. To, here, this will work. To point out some detail here. First of all, you got these hoses here. that are, They're not pressed in. They're actually parts on this. So that's cool. You got your uh, sticker here. Your 560 logo. Farmall here. And like I said... This is pressed out. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it does stick out. It's not a sticker. The 560 is also like that. When we get to the front here, you have your IH logo and uh, your ribbed grill on the top. You have a little decal here. Oh, there you go, a little decal. Plus a, yeah, a metal stack that has been drilled down to look a little hollow there, look like an actual stack. Your air cleaner, which is metal also. Your radiator cap, and your gas cap, or your diesel in this case. And your uh, hood ornament. On this side, you got uh, safety decals here. And uh, here's another view of your uh, air cleaner. Uh, just great detail. I'm, I'm just amazed by this. You have all your wires and your hoses and stuff. Wheel weights, uh, gray or polished aluminum wheels with your red uh, rims and axle. In the back here you have your lights and your hydraulic hoses which are actually hoses. You can see I'm moving them. Hoses. The PTO cover is good. You have all your um, levers they do move. Sorry about the lights, guys. They do move. Like I said, it's been dirty, so the seat is a little dirty. You got your gauges there. Gauges there. All your levers are good. It looks to detail. I mean, it looks to scale very well. Great detail. So this is just a sweet model. And your drawbar does come out. And don't think it's broken. That's all the further it comes out. And you just stick it in here. does go up and down. So this has been a short little review of the 560 diesel by Ertl. Uh, it's 19th in the Precision Series. As you can see there's 19 in there. From 2004 that I got from the Red Power Roundup at a booth 
I think I paid around fifty, sixty dollars, and I that was just a great deal. He had ninety on it. I talked him down. He didn't want to keep it anymore, I guess. But uh, so this is just a great model, and if you have a chance to get it, uh, I seriously recommend it. It's a very nice model. This has just been the first part of the review on all the toys I got at Lima, Ohio, at the Red Power Roundup. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.